something amazing happened. God really got my attention. But first, let's go back a little. This year, I've been confronted about how scared I am of pregnancy and childbirth. I think I've always been a little scared, but would brush it off and move on. I look at other women who cannot contain their excitement for all things pregnancy and babies. And then there's me. Feeling like I'm broken because I don't have those feelings. And truly believing something is wrong with me. The truth is, I'm terrified. And admitting these things is actually a bit humiliating, which is why I haven't really told anyone. This has been hard to walk through. Last night I felt God really trying to get my attention to finally open up to Him, even though He already knew everything. He helped me see how my fear was controlling me and that I wasn't trusting him. I could think of a million reasons why right now would be the worst time to get pregnant. But then God showed me I will always be able to think of reasons to wait. But all those reasons are led by fear. And God wants me to surrender. I'm scared, but I'm also trusting that he will provide any trial or hard season I've walked through, I've never been able to prepare for it. But God meets me in the unknown and has always walked with me through it. If babies are in the near future, I know that's exactly what God wanted for us. I don't want to try to control this area of my life anymore. I'm fully surrendered. The next day, I still haven't gotten my period. Um, I'm gonna try it again with a different type of test. And I read the directions this time, so I think I know what I'm doing. I might have messed up the last one. to ship it out to you guys. Our plan is that we'll bring it when we come, 
but we wanted, you know, we you wanted to show you yeah. because it's Christmas. That's true. So in, in in the spirit of Christmas, so then you can look forward to it and everything. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. That's what we do. We help people. Is that a pregnant suggestion? <laughs> Yep, you are. We weren't able to send, so we're just gonna show you. Okay. We're pregnant. What? <laughs> I guess it will come later. That is great. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. That is best news I could have. Okay, we're excited. So we have this little like spoof. Um, song that we were thinking about doing on YouTube, we wanted to show you guys first. <laughs> you may think we're crazy, we're also having a baby. <laughs> yeah, Riley might have a good. Riley! We're having a baby! She's, she's pregnant. We have something for baby, but we didn't want to send it in the mail, or we couldn't send it in the mail. For baby. So we'll just show you. It's cute. It's very, it's very tiny because you know. It's for it. No! Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. So we got baby, another baby. I can't believe it. They're gonna be like so close in age. Oh. I know, I can't believe it. to be um, ready to kind of talk about what happened. Um, I've got my box of tissues because I know I'm gonna need it. It has been eight, nine days since we went to the hospital and found out we lost our baby. This is obviously something I never thought that it would happen to us. It's really hard to put into words what I've felt, what I've experienced, and I'm wanting to be just as open as I can if it helps somebody else. When the doctor says this is normal, this happens a lot. that it's nothing that you've done wrong. You hear those words, but you still feel like you did something. Even though a lot of women experience it, it doesn't make it any less hard. It doesn't make it any less sad. 
I don't want to forget the joy. Um, I thought I was ready to do this. I really did. I thought, okay, I haven't been like sobbing every day. I have slowed down on, on crying, although I still cry at least one time every day. Um, and I think that that's going to be normal. But I don't want to forget the joy that we had when we found out. Obviously, um, it was shocking because we weren't necessarily trying to get pregnant, but we also stopped preventing um, and just said, if the Lord wants us to have a baby, then he will give us one in his timing, and he did. And he called that baby home very fast. And I'm thankful that I will be able to see my baby someday. And I know that a lot of women, um, they mourn in different ways. And I have been laying in bed a lot more. Uh, my lack of energy has plagued me in a lot of in a lot of ways. I haven't been comfortable going out in public. Um, so I've just kind of stayed here. I think for me, I needed to tell myself to mourn. I needed to move through the emotions and not around them as hard as it is um, to just sit in that sadness and sit in that sorrow. I didn't want to ignore the fact that I needed to feel these things, that it was normal and that it was healthy to mourn. And this morning I was reminding myself um, and reading in Ecclesiastes 3 that there is a time for mourning. There's a time for sorrow and sadness and I needed to, to realize that I had to feel those things. I needed to feel those things to allow myself to feel them, to not feel bad that I was crying all day. <laughs> this year has been um, very difficult for us. I think something that was hard for me was thinking that this was gonna be our blessing <laughs> in the midst of all of the trials that we are facing. And then it just, it ended up being a bigger trial and a bigger storm. And that's not what I was expecting. Um, I've had to move through my, my emotions towards God during this time which I think has been healthy for a while. Um, and I, this was even a topic that I had talked to my pastor about a few years ago was just feeling like I couldn't be angry at God because that was sin. It was a sin to be angry. And he just encouraged me, you know, to, re to read the Bible and the Bible um, Lamentations specifically. Like there is a lot of anger and sorrow towards God and that it is biblical and it is fine and and the Bible says you know in your anger don't sin be angry and do not sin like you can be angry being angry isn't a sin and I've had to work through that in the past years but I really had to work through that in this trial um, because I was angry I had so many emotions um, leading up to even just being open to be pregnant. I've been terrified of pregnancy. So then to experience something like this was like my fears come to life <laughs> right after I gave everything over to God and trusted Him. And so I just felt hurt. I felt hurt by Him. Um, because I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand why 
he gave us a baby and and took it away I don't understand it and so I've been um, just working through that allowing myself to feel those things and I was telling Nick that it's hard because I do I do trust God <laughs> and I do know that he is good and I do know that he is sovereign and I think that's what made it so difficult <laughs> because I didn't understand why he would do this I didn't feel like praying um, for a while I just I just wasn't ready. I needed to work through those emotions on my own and in my own timing. Um, it wasn't something that I was concerned by. It wasn't something that I felt like, oh, she's gonna, you know, fall away from her faith or whatever. I don't, I never felt that way, but I was still upset um, with him. And yet at the same time, still knowing that he is good and that he is God and that he is sovereign and I had to work through those emotions because they were kind of conflicting um, and confusing to me. I still know that he is good. It's taken me many days <laughs> to be able to say that again. Even though I knew it in my mind, it was still hard for me to say because of how much I was feeling. I'm allowing myself to go through this process and feel all the things feel all the emotions. Um, for me, it has helped having people know. It was sad having to tell my family so shortly after we told them the good news to tell them the sad news. But I don't regret telling them because for that short little moment that this baby was ours and with us, they were so loved. And I never want to forget that because my family, my family and Nick's family loved this baby so much. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful that we told them. Because some babies don't get that. One of the ways that I really wanted to remember and still honor my baby um, was I got this little ring which it has a little stone that is about the size of our baby when we lost it and even though our baby was so tiny it was a life and it was a precious life and so this is kind of my reminder and feel like my baby's still with me. Um, I know a lot of people hold like little memorials or whatever you feel helps you to honor that baby and that life, then I encourage you to do that. If you're going through something like this or if you've gone through something like this and you have lost your child, that please, it is okay to mourn even though they were small, they were significant. I'm with you in the sadness. I'm still gonna be in the sadness for a while. I don't know when I'll feel better, especially because this was, you know, my first pregnancy, my first child. And uh, I'm definitely gonna have to pray a lot for God to just give me some sort of peace. If we are ever blessed with a child, or get pregnant again, I will be scared for sure of losing them, but I don't want that to take away from the joy that is a life. I wanted to share my story, as heartbreaking as it is and as hard as it is to walk through, I know I'm not alone. A couple days after we found out, I was looking and watching videos of other women who had gone through the same thing, and I did find comfort in it in the community of other moms, you know? It's like, when I was pregnant and I knew I had a little baby, it really is crazy how naturally I switched from being so self-oriented to just like taking care of myself to wanting to do everything to protect that child. I have been nervous about if I would be a good mother 
and I think that was just a little spark of hope that I would be and I hope to be someday and I'm just gonna have to trust in his timing and learn to trust again God has a purpose for everything. I don't see it and I don't understand it and I, can, I can't even see what the next minute is gonna hold. Someday I'll understand. I wish that I was making a different type of video. I wish that I was still preparing to see this baby. I hope that you know that if you are also a mom who has lost your child, you are seen, you are loved. And your baby is seen, and your baby is loved, <laughs> and maybe our babies are playing in heaven. <laughs> Before I go, I would love to hear your story, to be with you, to help to comfort you, to grieve with you, to mourn with you. And if you want to leave it in a comment, you can. If it's too much or too private, please feel free to email me. My email's in the description and I would love to chat with you. I know that support means a lot to me during this time. People checking in on me has meant so much, made me feel less alone because I know how isolating it can feel. And so I don't want you to feel that. So feel free to reach out in any way that you feel comfortable um, and we can talk, we can chat. We don't even have to chat about that stuff. We can just talk. I just wanted to leave that open for you if that's something that you need. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. I wish it was a happier video, but like I said, you just have to mourn, you have to feel things, and it is okay to feel things. <laughs> it's certainly okay. It is okay to cry. I will see you in my next video.